Hello everyone and welcome to the new video. This is actually a video that one of my viewers on Discord gave me the idea for. So pretty much the rules are simple in this video. I can only spawn in the Yacht 64 at the start of the match and I can only spawn vehicles from the spawn points I get with this Yacht 64. So if I do really bad, that could mean I'm out almost immediately. So hello guys, this is the Yacht 64 with Dumbfire Rockets. And you guys know the rules already. I, I'm i hoping if you w w watch the intro. So pretty much this thing costs about like 280 spawn points. So it's going to take 280. And that means I have 180 that I cannot use. How I'm going to work with that to avoid crew lock is I'm going to... Let's say I can use those spawn points. But those spawn points will go into just spawning a vehicle to die in. And... I won't actually use it for anything. Now, let's try and get some spawn points real quick. So here's a enemy tank real quick. He's dead. That's not good. We just exposed ourselves a little bit. Uh, there we go. Here's some enemies. Hopefully. Right there. That is really tragic. And I don't think we're going to get back alive with the amount of enemies right now and the fact that we just okay dodging missiles W oh my gosh we got a machine gun ow that was a hit for the missiles ow we got more guys shooting at us we got the assist though on the chali and we might make it back ow I don't if my teammates kill that guy behind me I might make it back but we took a decent amount of damage right there uh, lost our gunner, unfortunately. We might make it out of here alive. Oh my gosh, this guy is going to make that hard, though. Uh, he's attempting to make it as hard as possible. I don't think we're going to make it out of the alive, possibly. Although, they managed to not injure our engine parts at all, which is rather interesting. Uh, I would have guessed they would have destroyed those first, but three anti-air missiles and a couple of shots later, and we are still flying... 100% fine, except for all the rest of the damage that I've sustained. So, hey, nothing bad. We do have enough for our Abrams. Oh, no, no, no! Wow, this is nice. I'm going to turn off my engine real quick. Uh, no, don't high max RPM. Uh, okay, that's fine. Wow. Well, I'll see you guys when this is repaired. If I'm lucky, uh, there's an actual MiG-23 in front of me now. We got him good! Oh! Yes, indeed! Um, okay, guys, taking C. Not exactly ideal. And by the way, if you are looking for whether or not to get the M1A1 aim, they did up tier it from 11.3 to 11.7, but it is still an incredible tank. Uh, the Abrams, while it is not a good tank compared to some of the Russian stuff, eh, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty good. Honestly, if you can get a siphoning position, this tank excels. Tur tur uh, turn it up, everything else down, and this tank is an absolute beast. I believe that is because, of course, we have thermals in real life. We have the money for thermals, and the US government kind of, and I guess the military industrial system, plan around that to kind of sell their tank. Whereas for like the Russians and the other nations, eh, they kind of made just a full rounder tank, which Obviously, it's better at brawling than an Abrams would be because the Abrams is designed for sniping, not brawling. So, in a War Thunder scenario where their maps are not actually that big, you get destroyed. But, again, in some situations, it can be really good. Why is my graphics card glitching? Hopefully, that's not too big of a problem later. I don't hear anything, which is throwing me off.
Oh, now I do. This guy's like premium, buddy. I think he knows the game. <laughs> not ideal for me. Uh, very much not ideal. I gotta hope that those teammates get here quick. I'm gonna give him a bit of a quick mark. Pull in a little bit. He's trying. Oh. I think he has a slight advantage here, especially because something just killed. Oh, an automatic. Oh, that was a good shot on my part. Did he fire, though? Apparently, he did. Okay, now the issue is going to be where... Okay, there's the auto. Hopefully he's running deaf, because I really don't want to run up on an automatic. That knows my position. 2S38. Ah, oh, okay. But yeah, this has been pretty interesting so far. First match, I got some good play. Really after that, though, not been having that good of a time. Uh, the helicopter is a bit interesting, although, you know... Kind of depends on where Russia is, because Russia gets the 2S38 and the BMP, which pretty much put this whole challenge to shame. Uh, really, there's nothing you can do if a BMP2M locks onto your cheeks, because uh, those things have some mean ammo, for anti-cast purposes at least. Okay, let's see what we can do. This guy looks like he might be stuck. There we go. And this guy right here. Absolute whiff, but who cares? And we got nailed. 366 score. As I can see, that's a guy. Oh my gosh. No, -uh, we don't want to face this guy like that. No, -uh. okay, horizontal's pretty good. And he's dead. W. Pumas are so annoying to kill. Oh my. Well, I hope you guys found that entertaining. I really had fun playing that. It was absolutely wonderful. And I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you did, please go down, hit that subscribe button. It helps me make more content. You know, I need, I'm growing closer and closer to a very important decision in my life where I have to kind of reallocate my time. And if I could give more time to YouTube and less to other things, I would really appreciate that. So that really um, depends on whether we make monetization soon and how many of y'all are subscribed. Right now we are really getting close to 1,000 and we are at about 650 watch hours. If we can get to, let's say, 3,000 watch hours and maybe 1,000 subs, um, that's monetization right there, and it would really help me keep posting videos. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you guys for watching, and if you want to see me do stuff like this again, please go join the Discord and drop down your video suggestions. I will be doing them as much as I can, uh, I'm pretty much grinding all the way up to people's video suggestions, and when I find the time to do them, I do them. So thank you to the viewer who suggested this. I really appreciate you, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Guard out 3D, peace out.